the Appalachian Regional Commission issued $68.2 million to help coal communities around the region. Gail Manchin, federal co-chair, has more to say about this. Uh, again, the uh, job opportunities, workforce development, job training, it's all key to new industry that might be coming into the area, retraining for uh, jobs where you worked in the coal industry and that's gone, but it may very well be that the skill sets you have are very adaptable to another energy uh, sector coming in, another job type opportunity. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Part of this initiative is mapped out so that Eastern Kentuckians will be able to stay home rather than move away for work. Families are so worried that particularly children, grandchildren will have to move away, have to leave because the industry they've always known doesn't exist anymore, or certainly not the way it did. And so hopefully uh, these power grants really bring uh, in many ways power back to those communities to say, no, you can stay in this area, Our young people can stay in this area be trained, have the skill sets they need, have a great quality of life, a good paying job, and be able to live right here in the mountains that they grew up and loved so much. In all, Appalachian Regional Commission's grants will kickstart 65 projects across 10 states. Kentucky alone will have 10 of those projects to look forward to. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.